I had an awful lot of work to do. I was running around the yard trying to get A, B and C done as quickly as possible. I wasn't thinking that I was about to spend the next 24 hours in a hospital bed. It was February 2001. It was a lovely spring day. There was no wind. It was lovely and mild. It was the perfect weather for spreading slurry. We went to put the cattle out of the, out of the immediate area of where we were mixing. We put in the, the mixer pump, turned it on and went to do some feeding at another yard. When we came back, about 15 minutes later, which was around the amount of time in those days that they said you should be out of the house, I was walking towards the mixer and to the area that it was mixing. I very quickly got a feeling that something wasn't right. Um, the first feeling I got was that my skin felt quite almost tight. It was just like somebody had placed a, a mask over my, head, my face and just sucked all the air out of my lungs. I just, what I was breathing wasn't air. It was a very, uh, it was a very strange sensation. There was no smell and I couldn't see it and quickly realised I was being gassed. Even though we'd moved the cattle away to another part of the house, A, they were still there and B, my father was in amongst them. So I knew I had to get the pump switched off, no matter what. I held my breath. I ran to the tractor, opened the door and pulled the throttle back till there was no revs. I then had to run out of the house. I remember running as hard as I could. I remember feeling like somebody, it was like somebody was just pulling me back. I remember thinking, I'm beat here, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna make it. Like, this is it. Um, I was almost out of the house and then everything went black. The next day I got home, I uh, niggly headaches and felt really lethargic for days after it. It turns out that was really the effects of oxygen starvation. There was no wind that day, it was absolutely still. Smoke was going straight up into the air at the chimneys. There wasn't a breath of air. Uh, looking back, that was the biggest mistake that I made. I should not have been mixing slurry on that day. Uh, slurry regulations as they are. Uh, there's times of year we're allowed to spread and times of year we're not. So we have to work the deadlines. This puts pressure on farmers and contractors. If it has to go out, well, sometimes you'll take the risk. What I would really like to say is that don't take the risk if it's try to plan it around when it's going to be windy. On a still day that gas can't get away and if you're in there you'll not get away either. I did what I thought was right. I completely missed out on the fact that there was no wind around to disperse that gas. It was very nearly me that was caught out. I remember running out of that shed thinking this is it, it's over. <laughs>